Have you ever imagined a piece of land so beautiful, where all you see are clear blue skies, ranges of snow-capped mountains, glimpses of refreshing rivers and lakes, where nature is at its best, and you feel that if there was a heaven on earth, this would be it. The northern areas of Pakistan are one example of such enchanted beauty of nature, covering a huge area with snow-capped mountains, glaciers, lush green valleys, and rivers. Here, the world's greatest mountain ranges unite, the Himalayas, which literally mean the snow land, the Karakoram, and Hindu Kush ranges are characterized by high elevations steep-sided rough peaks and high-altitude glaciers of astounding size. The northern region of Pakistan has the highest concentration of high peaks in the world. 37 out of the 100 highest peaks on Earth rest among these ranges. Five of them are over 8,000 meters and 108 peaks are over 7,000 meters. Among them is the Baltoro Glacier one of the longest glaciers having a length of 62 kilometers, complementing the beauty of nature in Gilgit, Baltistan, and is surrounded by the several other high peaks over 8,000 meters. These mountains and glaciers give rise to many rivers and glacial lakes, which pass through beautiful mountain valleys hidden amidst these ranges. These valleys are home to a culturally diverse and multilingual set of people belonging to different areas of Pakistan. The culture, costumes, music and cuisines of the northern areas of Pakistan have an element of uniqueness about them. Some of their cultural festivals include Navroz, Jashne Bahara, Shandur, Babusar Polo Festival and Harvest Festival. The natural and cultural beauty of the area serves as an attraction for tourists within Pakistan and abroad and maybe that is why it is also called Heaven on Earth. This region is a source of interest for earth scientists and geologists as well. Karakoram and the Himalayas are one of the world's most geologically active areas. They form a boundary between two colliding continents and are thus important in the study of plate tectonics. The region also draws attention from the social sector due to the severe damage that global warming has caused to the area. With increasing average global temperatures and higher than ever levels of CO2, global warming has become a highly critical issue. This change in climate will have diverse environmental and socio-economic effects in the longer run. Changes in rainfall patterns due to climate change are likely to lead to severe water shortage and or flooding. Melting of glaciers can cause flooding and soil erosion. Climate change has become an important factor of extreme events such as floods, droughts and heavy rainfall events. These events are likely to increase as the climate change continues. While glaciers in the northern parts of Pakistan contribute to the beauty of the region and give rise to glacial streams, they hold a threat for the environment due to rapid climate change. Warming in the northern regions of Pakistan has been noted to be above global average. These rising temperatures are causing glaciers to recede from 40 to 60 meters per decade and hence making the northern regions of Pakistan vulnerable to several climate change hazards such as floods, avalanches and landslides. As glaciers melt, glacial lakes are formed and water is filled up in natural moraine or in ice dams at the bottom or on top of these glaciers. The moraine or ice dams containing the lakes can breach suddenly due to extreme volumes of water leading to glacier lake outburst floods Glock. On the index of vulnerability, Pakistan is ranked amongst the top 10 countries of the world because it suffered a lot due to climate change. Government of Pakistan, understanding the need of the time,
created Ministry of Climate Change at federal level after the 18th Amendment. I would like to highlight over here that the government of Pakistan, considering the potential, potential dangerous lakes, took an initiative by involving the international donors, adaptation funds, and UNDP, and initiated the project in year 2011. GLOF can release millions of cubic meters of water and debris, which can be as high as 15,000 cubic meters per second, enough to make the communities nearby witness their worst nightmare. <laughs> During a GLOF incident, a small mountain stream can suddenly develop into an extremely turbulent and fast-moving flood some 50 meters deep. On a plain, flood becomes somewhat slower, spreading as much as 10 kilometers wide. Both cases hold terrible threats to lives, livelihoods, infrastructure and economic assets for the exposed community. Mountain communities living in the locale of glacial lakes and glacier-fed rivers are highly vulnerable. Well, Pakistan is probably one of the most vulnerable countries to climate change on the planet. In fact, it's one of the 10 most vulnerable countries to climate change. Not only is climate change going to affect all of our environment, but it's going to have very deep consequences on livelihoods, on security, on international relations, and on pa Pakistan's capacity to tackle poverty reduction, to tackle uh, uh, its development challenges. So the responsibility to tackle these challenges is of everybody, of course of the government, but of uh, every institution, the private sector, and institutions like UNDP are here to support that. So uh, this is a very important initiative that we are supporting by the government, especially in the north of Pakistan. And uh, we think that by proving, by demonstrating how these communities can adapt in certain key areas, we can reproduce this throughout the country in the future. GLOF events have occurred every three to 10 years in Himalayas, with varying degrees of socio-economic impact. From 1950 to 1999, damage to property caused by floods was 380.181 million rupees, a death toll of 5,832 lives and 84,475 villages have been affected. <laughs> A total of 35 destructive outburst floods have been recorded in the Karakoram region in the past 200 years and at least 11 surges of exceptional scale have been recorded so far. ये काफी ऊपर था लैंड स्लाइडिंग की वजह से बहुत से हमारे बागात ये दरख्त ये घर स्लाइडिंग की वजह से खराब हो रहे हैं और मजीद खतरा है रिसेंटली 5218 ग्लेशियर्स एंड 2420 लेक्स हैव बीन आइडेंटिफाइड एंड मैप्ड इन पाकिस्तान अमंग द आइडेंटिफाइड लेक्स 52 लेक्स हैव बीन लेबल्ड एज पोटेंशियली हैजर्डस एंड आर लाइकली टू कॉज ग्लोफ over the next few years to decades. Therefore, if appropriate and timely adaptation measures are not taken, the damage and destruction in terms of livelihoods and infrastructure will be irreversible. वहां से जब सलाब गुजरता है तो हमारे जमीनें जो हैं वो कटाव करके वो लेके भाग ले जाता है घर भी आसपास नाले के साथ-साथ घर हैं माल मवेशी के घर हैं बढ़ जाते हैं तो उनको भी बहा के लेके जाता था इस प्रोटेक्टिव बन की वजह से हमें 
تحفظ ملے گا اسے ڈیزاسٹر مینجمنٹ از ریلیٹیولی اے نیو فیلڈ ان پاکستان ورک از بینگ ڈن ان دا کنٹری ٹو انکریز کمیونٹی ریزیلینس اگینسٹ مانسونل فلڈس اینڈ سیزمک ایکٹیویٹی ہاؤ ایور ٹیکنگ میجرز ٹو ریڈیوس دی امپیکٹ آف کلائمیٹ چینج از نگلیکٹیڈ سالانہ گرمیوں میں اس نالے میں سیلاب آتا ہے تو اس سیلاب کی وجہ سے بہت سارے نقصانات اس گاؤں میں ہوتے ہیں اس میں جانی نقصانات بھی ہوتے ہیں مکانات اور زیر کاشت زمینیں بہت سارے نقصانات ہوتے ہیں زمین کی کٹاؤ ہوتی ہے تو اب یہاں پر پروٹیکشن وال بنائے جا رہے ہیں خصوصاً یہ پروٹیکشن وال جو بن رہی ہے یہاں پہ اس کے اوپر ایک واٹر چینل ہے جس کے پانی سے نیچے گاؤں کی ساری زمینیں وہ سیلاب ہوتی ہیں تو سیلاب کی وجہ سے وہ نہر کٹ جاتا تھا اور پانی کی فراہمی منقطع ہو جاتی تھی اب یہ پروٹیکشن وال جو بن رہی ہے اس کی مدد سے اس کی وجہ سے شاید ان شاء اللہ بات مستقبل میں ایسا نہیں ہوگا یہ مسئلہ پھر نہیں ہوگا بیکاز پتہ ہے بہت اگلی شیر اس پہ بھی نگولا کیا حالات ہے گیتی اس پہ ہر گیتی او گالی سیان کا پلا دیتی او ہر گیتی ہے گولا گیتی اہو راز تو تالی سیان او گانی اہو راز بیکو خط اہلی سیران کا پال چھمران ہر گیتی او گالی کو In order to combat cloth hazard, awareness and initiatives at macro as well as micro level are required. The project GLOF has done well in formation, general awareness, in terms of software and hardware both since its inception in June 2012 in Gilgit. They have been lending a very helpful hand to Gilgit Baltistan Disaster Management Authority for information dissemination, for you know, raising awareness among general masses and trainings as well. And we hope that they, they'll continue to welfare and well-being of uh, our public, our population, our communities. Recognizing the potential threat of cloth to the northern communities of Pakistan due to climate change and the anticipated severe damage, UNDP initiated a project called Reducing Risks and Vulnerabilities from Glacier Lake Outburst Floods in Northern Pakistan in Bagrot in Gilgit and Bindagol in Chitral. The aim of the project is to enable vulnerable communities to have a better understanding of the issues and improve community resilience for effective response to glacial lake outburst and to encourage adaptation to growing climate change. Pakistan GLOF project was designed to achieve four outcomes. Strengthening institutional capacities to implement policies, plans and investments that prevent human and material losses from GLOF events in vulnerable areas of northern Pakistan. Improve access of disaster management planners and policy makers to knowledge, information and research on GLOF risks. Reduce human and material losses in vulnerable communities of northern Pakistan through GLOF early warnings and other adaptation measures. And project experiences documented and replicated. In order to address risk of cloth, it is essential to understand the phenomenon and its potential threats. In Chitral, the local community is more dependent on our water, which is on the glacier. So, people knew that the glacier is our aim, a lifeline. But what is the case? Is there a glacier in this glacier? Is there a retreat? No, they didn't know. The Pakistan GLOF project has started to have awareness and sensitization to the community. اب کمیونٹی پلس ڈپارٹمنٹ یا جتنے بھی اسٹیک ہولڈر ہیں وہ سینسٹائز ہو گئے ہیں کہ جو گلیشیر ہے یہ ایک ریسورسز ہیں مگر ان کی یہ ریٹریٹ بھی کرتے ہیں اور ان پہ یہ کلائمیٹ چینج کا ایک نگیٹیو امپیکٹ بھی پڑتا ہے پاکستان گلوف پروجیکٹ کنڈکٹڈ گلیشیر لیک آؤٹ برسٹ فلڈس اویئرنس ریزنگ ورک شاپس اینڈ ڈسیمنیٹڈ آئی ای سی میٹیریل ٹو انکریز اویئرنس آف گلوف تھریٹس امنگ آل اسٹیک ہولڈرز اینڈ ادر ایسوسیٹڈ پولیٹیکل ڈیولپمنٹل اینڈ ایکیڈمک اینٹیٹیز موجود <laughs> Risk and vulnerability assessment along with hazard mapping has been completed by Pakistan GLOF project in Bagrod, Gilgit and Bindugol, Chitral. Main responsibilities of uh, DRMC include to facilitate, to provide facilitation to the Pakistan GLOF project 
in planning and implementing uh, community-based activities in Bindugol Valley. We are also undertaking uh, measures to strengthen these hazard watch groups uh, to better respond to the natural disasters, uh, including GLOF. In this context, we have provided them all logistic uh, equipments, including tents, sleeping bags, and like and other uh, accessories. Demonstration of community-based GLOF risk management in vulnerable mountain valleys of northern Pakistan. <laughs> बढ़वाया उस ग्लाव वालों ने हमारे लिए 10 लाख रुपए का इंडोमेंट फंड दिया हमने भी कमिटी शेयर के तौर पर 1 लाख रुपए उसमें जमा किए हैं हमारे लिए तकरीबन 16 17 लाख रुपए से उन लोगों ने ऑफिस स्टेबल किए ऑफिस बनवाए उसमें जो सामान चाहिए थे हजार वाज ग्रुप वालों के लिए भी उन्होंने सामान मुहैया किए 6 दिन तक हमें ट्रेनिंग दी जो 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 चीजें लोगों को मालूम नहीं थी इससे पहले उससे लोगों को बहुत ज्यादा आगाही हुई द एस्टैब्लिशमेंट ऑफ डीईआरसी इज in full swing and continue. The district administration is determined for its effective functioning and also adamant for maintaining its sustainability. Two weather observatories have been installed by Pakistan Glove Project in Gilgit and Chitral districts to monitor and record basic MET data. In order to decrease the impact of GLOF in terms of human and material loss, Pakistan GLOF project has installed automated weather stations at Kilgit and will soon be installing them in Chitral as well. This is the automatic rain gauge. This information is satellite through Islamabad med department. And the med department is sitting there and 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 what changes can be changed here. तो एकॉर्डिंगली यहाँ जमींदारों को एग्रीकल्चर के बाबित और डिजास्टर रिस्क रिडक्शन और रिस्क मैनेजमेंट के लिए ये इंफॉर्मेशन वहाँ जनरेट होकर चली जाती है दिस विल अलाउ हाई एल्टीट्यूड मेट्रोलॉजिकल एंड हाइड्रोलॉजिकल डेटा टू बी रिकॉर्डेड दीज ऑटोमेटेड वेदर स्टेशन विल ट्रांसमिट रियल टाइम डेटा टू पाकिस्तान मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट विच विल हेल्प इन डिवाइजिंग एन अर्ली वार्निंग सिस्टम फॉर द कम्युनिटी एट लार्ज अब ग्लोबल वार्मिंग की वजह से इन ग्लेशियर्स की मेल्टिंग जो है वो तेज़ हो गई है जिसकी वजह से पानी के पानी के जो रवानी है उसमें मुख्तलिफ चेंजेज़ आ रही हैं इसीलिए हमने बड़ा मरबूत किस्म का निज़ाम जो है वो डेवलप करने की कोशिश की है ना सिर्फ हम वो लेक के लेवल को मद्दनज़र रख रहे हैं बल्कि हम ये भी उसके साथ साथ असेस करेंगे के दर्जा हरारत जो है वो बढ़ने से सूरज की शुआओं की शिद्दत बढ़ जाने की वजह से बारिश के एडिशन की वजह से उसमें लेक में क्या तब्दीलियां मुमकिन तौर पे हो सकती हैं पाकिस्तान ग्लॉफ प्रोजेक्ट हैज इन्वॉल्व एंड ट्रेन द कम्युनिटी बाय फॉर्मिंग कम्युनिटी बेस्ड हैजर्ड वॉच ग्रुप एंड डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट कमेटीज टू मॉनिटर एंड रिपोर्ट इमर्जिंग थ्रेड्स फ्राम ग्लेशियल लेक आउटपर्स्ट Engineering structures for mitigating GLOF risk for the downstream communities have been designed and their costing has been completed. All of the structural interventions are expected to complete in due course. This is a GLOF project for the District of Gilgit. It is a very important project for the District of Gilgit. The District of Gilgit is a very important project for the District of Gilgit. We have some resources शामिल कर रहे हैं और ग्लाफ प्रोजेक्ट के एक बहुत बड़ी कंट्रीब्यूशन है जिसके साथ मिलकर हम डिस्ट्रिक्ट डिजास्टर एमरजेंसी रिस्पांस सेंटर एस्टेब्लिश कर रहे हैं जिसके लिए हमें तमाम माली मुआवनत ग्लाफ प्रोजेक्ट की जानब से हासिल है More than 26,000 people directly benefited from the project and indirect beneficiaries of the project are more than 1 million people of the vulnerable mountain communities in northern Pakistan. The project has enhanced the access of policy makers, disaster management planners and researchers to the information, knowledge and literature on GLOBE and other climate change induced disasters through workshops, coordination meetings, IAC material, media campaigns, developing linkages and communication networks. 
We have initiated construction of climate change mitigation structures like divergence spurs, check dams, and gabion walls, and facilitated target communities in formation of valley-based disaster risk management committees. The project has also conducted and documented series of GLOF-related case studies and reports, which are now accessible to local, national, and international community for knowledge sharing and further research on GLOB and other glacier and water related issues. I think for Pakistan, this was a very important project. Its impact on vulnerable people is now visible. They feel safer from GLOB disasters and more benefits are anticipated in near future. The project can also be used as a climate change adaptation and GLOB risk reduction model for replication in other glacier regions of Pakistan or elsewhere in the world. Today, the targeted communities are cooperating with Pakistan GLOF project in implementing the project reducing risks and vulnerabilities from glacier lake outburst floods in northern Pakistan, realizing that if they all do not take adaptive measures, regardless of what environmental conditions currently prevail, the enchanted valleys they grew up in the people they grew up with, the houses they have been living in, their crops and livestock, which is the main source of their livelihoods, and their entire ecosystem with heavenly physical and cultural beauty will get washed away in a glimpse.